Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Ingula community in 100 seconds every week. Dariusz Kalbacek, founder of NG Poland, interviewed Minko Gechev, Ingula product lead, about the upcoming versions of Ingula. Version 17 will be very strong for server side rendering. There will be a new application builder which runs on ESBuild and Vite and is responsible to build the client and the server pod. In terms of hydration, Ingula will also improve and beyond version 17, they are targeting even resumability. Signals will play a crucial part next year. Let's hear it from Miko. So in 2024, we'll continue working more on the signal story with signal-based components. For version 17, for November, we're holding this back a little bit. We would like to really prototype what the perfect format for signal-based components looks like. The signals library or primitive we got in 16 will become stable in 17. The Ingo team removed the mutate method though, so that means we can only do immutable updates. The Angular Q&A session took place and the most important part happened at the end where Jeremy Elborn, Angular tech lead, gave a statement on functional components. You have to import something once in TypeScript and then import it again in your component and we would like to resolve that. One of the options that is on the table for that is looking at alternate component syntaxes. It's classes today, there are kind of function-based components, single file components, and maybe other things as well. The day after, Brandon Roberts posted a prototype of a functional component on X. The posting got 90,000 views and triggered quite an emotional discussion. It's definitely worth a look. That's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.